of a war. Right now, it's just not hot. They're waiting for us. And what is going to happen, like you've said before, and I'm not, you know, I'm not saying that you are instigating this by any means, but the phrase that you always said, they wanted to fight, you better believe they're going to get one. If they, when this starts happening and the loved ones start falling and we start watching our families fall, then you're going to have to change the InfoWars bumper from, if you're listening to this transmission, you are the resistance. Hell no. If you're listening to this transmission, you are the reckoning. Well, noncompliance has to be a part of the program going forward. This is behavior modification training. They are pounding you into submission. And, and I'm sorry, power cannot be negotiated with and power cannot be reasoned with. Power only recognizes and respects a greater power. So the more you submit and they're testing your resolve, when he talks about this is a great opportunity, he's saying this is a great opportunity for them to advance the needle by getting your children. They know that if they come for your children and you don't put up a fight, you don't get any kind of motivation to get off your butt and fight this, that they're just going to roll right right over you. They're going to steamroll you. But, but, but real leaders that want to empower their people in the West has, has, has had both bad and good. But why is there such a blooming of evil leaders, the whole globalist construct, the whole globalist project? Because that's their end goal. Their end goal is to get rid of you. You're the carbon footprint. You're, you're the person that they want to get rid of. This is a psyop, plain and simple. They want your children because they want to, to have access into your family, into your home, set the precedent for taking control of your children, taking control of your progeny. That is taking control of your future. By doing that, they are, they are dominating you mentally. They're dominating you physically. And they know if you won't fight for your children, you won't fight for anyone else. From the front lines of the 